Heads full of dread. Go team. I'm gonna be interviewing the whole game. We got in these cold streets. All these things that physically killed her. I just think by them it went too it far. And me our second home, but this is hip hop of Tampa. Florida boy. Heads full of dread. Florida girls, dirty south, so Welcome to Hip Hop of Tampa. We live on Hip Hop of Tampa, and I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy to have these two friends, these two authors, these two philanthropists in front of me right now. Uh, I've learned so much from you guys just over these last few days, just knowing you guys. Live on Hip Hop of Tampa, I have Brian Hippolyte. Say yeah. something to the people, though. Yeah, what's going on, y'all? Brian Hippolyte, the Manifest Mentor. Sir. Manifest University, we in the building. Thanks for that. Yeah, and yeah. I have Trey Snatch right on the side of them. What they do, what they do, y'all know the vibes. Trey Snatch, Black Lotus to the death of me, and definitely make your credit move most definitely. Now that's telepathy. Thank y'all for having us. Thanks for that. So soon as I got Brian to okay me for this interview, mm -hmm. he automatically say, I'm going to bring my friend. And that meant so much to me. Cause it's like if I got an opportunity, let me get my dog an opportunity. Absolutely. You want me on your show? This is the qualifications. He can come, and that's riding for your brother. Absolutely, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's man. That's how everybody build. That's how everybody grows, and and we can multiply together. That brought me more closer to you as a person. Just that little like, oh, he trying to look out for his dog too. And then I want to meet your dog too, cause you saying so much great things about him. Like I want to meet that guy too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That's, we what, need, we, that's what it's supposed to do. We need more of that in our community. Facts. Full time fathers, homeschooling fathers. That's like, somewhere you can build from. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and that we want our daughters to be uh, a caliber of women that is in common right now. Facts. Say, and let's go right from there because I am a full time father too. Mm. Like I have my son during the weekdays as also as the weekend. I just don't I ain't a weekend father. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just like you guys. And I don't sit around tables with guys like that. Mm -hmm. So while I got guys like you, I wanna hear from both of y'all how y'all set up businesses to make sure y'all building generational wealth. I'm gonna start with you. Absolutely, absolutely. Um first thing that that we did together actually to to start building residual income and generational wealth for our daughters was begin to make them writers on our projects. Awesome. On our music projects. Awesome. And, and a lot of them started. And by playing. doing that, did you like go through like did you sign them up for BMI ASCAP? All that. That's that's how you did that. that. Yeah, right. I want you to explain I mean, that because guess what? The people that we talking to, right. they like you signed them up as writers. How we do that? Yeah, you get you give them the credit. You know, okay. if you anytime you get to the place where your music is now a product, there's a process that you're going to go through mm -hmm. to set that up. Mm -hmm. And you're going to give credit to the people who played a part on that composition. Facts. Um, you know, so listing our daughters as writers on our music. Mm -hmm. When our music gets streamed, our daughters get, you know, start, you know, start getting money. Obviously. That's big. When the publishing checks come, our daughters, you know, get publishing checks. Their names will be yeah, on their there. names be on there, you know. That's um, awesome. My first LLC, um, it's called SNL Properties and Projects. It's a home repair construction that's company. That's my daughter's and my two of my daughter's initials, Samara and Leilani. Lit. Uh, and so it's know, in like, their names and it's their names. And it's their and it's their names. That's big though too, because it's like the product is them. Yeah. yeah Making you know, it not nothing you gotta go and no, it's you. Yeah, my daughter's a six. That's two. I'm sorry, six and four. Um, when my six year old got here, I was sleeping on somebody's couch though. Dang. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, sleep, right. I was I was legit sleeping on somebody's couch when she got here. When mm -hmm. when my four year old got here two years later, like mm -hmm. when my four year old got here, she had she had her own bank account before she got here. So she you, had a cryptocurrency wallet before she got here. Facts. You know what I mean? Like it you got it right with the first one. Man, the first, that first one put me in a space to to get to it mm -hmm. and, and and to cut off the the bullshit and align with a, with a purpose and the focus and, and go in the direction to change what, what my reality was at that time. Now let me ask you this for people that's in your situation like that know they're somebody but they're just waiting for that trigger thing to trigger them and push them. Did you already know before you supposed you're... to be waiting on nothing. Facts. That's it. Mm -hmm. You ain't supposed to be waiting on nothing. You're supposed to be going for it. You supposed you supposed to be willing it mm -hmm. in your direction, manifesting it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You supposed you're supposed to be doing the things Push. that's going to bring it to you because 
you know, there's so many universal laws, we'll call them. Everyone's familiar with the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. You know, everything out here is energy. You're supposed to be using your energy, the things that you do throughout your day, your right. actions, right. to bring those things towards, towards you. You're supposed to be using your mind, your mm -hmm. faith. To I believe bring that. those things towards you, all those things. Man. I believe we, it. We ain't waiting on nothing. We think it, speak it, meditate on it, do the work and make it manifest. That's And, and repeat. He already told me a little bit, but just <clears throat> break it down how you make sure you. Well, well, I start off with uh, with me homeschooling my daughter. I started there, so mm -hmm. her mom has a PhD and an MBA. I have a bachelor's and an MBA. Okay, right. So I already we represent the highest level of academia. So I already knew what they're gonna learn from preschool to the highest level of degrees, and none of this stuff was applicable as far as creating an LLC. Uh, articles of organization, mm -hmm. uh, credit, personal credit, business credit, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. None of this stuff was learned in school. As a matter yeah. of fact, everybody w that I knew that was in school was living pillar to post. That's what got me into the law and the credit side of things. Yeah, you didn't like right? That. I didn't. I didn't like it. You mm -hmm. feel me? Because I looked around and I says, "Well, goddamn!" I say, "I know some of the smartest people that." That, that are around here. I, I got friends that are electronic engineers, defense contractors, went back to school for nursing now. They're, they're a defense contractor on during the week and a nurse during the weekend and they're trilingual. Mm -hmm. And they I'm like, yo, your same neighborhood. Correct. I went to high school with exactly. this is one of my partners. I went to high school with him. Mm -hmm. We was roommates in college. I watched them build a radio out of a piece of uh, a piece of wood. Right. Literally, right? This is a passion. That had to be a passion. Yeah, so, but but he's still living, they're not, we're still living pillar to post mm -hmm. when it comes to student loans and things of that nature, mm -hmm. whereas people that, that don't look like us, let's just say on the other hue, yeah. are living their best life. Across. I say, hold on, wait a minute. These people are not smarter than us. They just know something that we don't know. Yeah. So it got me. It I got think me. where they got us at, they made us think that education was schooling. So now that I got some guys in front of me that I know know what education is, break down what education is. Our community don't know what education to be educated. Well, is. I mean, there's there's different types. There's self education, and mm -hmm. then there's institutionalized education. So from my aspect, I come from both realms of it. Mm -hmm. I got the institutionalized education, mm -hmm. right? I got the bachelor's degree. I got a master's degree conferred. I'm in the books, right? Mm -hmm. But then I turned around and looked and said, hold on, everybody who got this is still just about living check to check. Because right. when you incorporate the student loans on top of the cost of living, you might as well be working at motherfucking McDonald's at the cash register because it, everybody's lifestyle is going to match that at the same rate. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I started learning things in self-education or self and self mastery that I didn't that I wasn't taught in school. For instance, a single family home is a liability, it's not an asset. Mm -hmm. Because you gotta pay that. If you don't pay that, you're gonna get kicked out. Right. Well, so what I did was I went and got a multifamily unit so the tenant pays the rent. Okay. You get where I'm That's coming gay. from? Yeah. That's income producing. Uh -huh. Right? That's and gay. you could still get that with the FHA uh, loan, you know, if you work with somebody, they using you know your regular tax returns and things. You can get actually up to four units before it's considered That's a, a jewel commercial. Right there. That's something yeah, you learn from. That's yeah. So, so you can get up to four units, uh, a quadplex mm -hmm. before five. When when you get to five, then they consider it a commercial real estate transaction. But four or less is considered a residential real estate transaction. Mm -hmm. So you can technically take that same FHA. Home loan that you got for 150, 200, whatever it was that you qualified for, we yeah. can get into that as well too, mm -hmm. and get you a multifamily unit and have your tenants paying your mortgage for you. Right. So that's and, what I and did. Be on the other side, and right. be on the other be side, the, be on the other unit, <clears throat> and your yeah. tenant not you know stay, yeah. that yeah. the land, the landlord is right next to him. And that's what right I did. I got a property management company. I got yeah. a property management company, so nobody's knocking on my door saying, "Hey, my toilet stopped up," or whatever the case. Mm -hmm. They don't even. They think we're renters. <laughs> For, just like them, yeah, you yeah, feel me? Because yeah, they did they, they, they. I they, never knew that game. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm listening. You see, I'm tapped in. I'm listening. Yeah. So, so going back, so this, I, 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 I learned none of this information in school. From <laughs> so I said, so, so I says, you know what? I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put what is applicable for, for my daughter. For child you understand what I'm yeah. saying? And the, the the things that I found was applicable was. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, reading, and reading comprehension. 
what you read. Everything else, everything else is irrelevant to me. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So we're not going to talk about yeah. trapezoids. We're not going to talk about <laughs> Abraham Lincoln and George Washington mm-hmm. and the cherry tree. My daughter me. cannot tell you who George Washington or Abraham Lincoln or Obama is for that matter. Facts, and she but don't she need could, to be filling her head up with that when it's more other correct, things. Correct, but we, she could tell what you what did. assets build which is wealth and what liabilities build is nothing. She could tell you that a bull candle is green Mm -hmm. and a bear candle is red Mm -hmm. looking at charts in trading and futures because I trade in the 30-year treasury bond. Uh She has has a multiple-figure stock portfolio at seven years old. Nice. She knows stocks. She knows Bitcoin. She knows cryptocurrency, and she's seven. She's also an author. So... She has intellectual property on top of the intellectual property with the residuals, with the music and the product products we bring out. Right. So she's seven. So and this, this is what I want to say to you guys. By you guys having y'all kids advance like this in the years to come, I want to see where is though they be our role models. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're definitely going to be teaching because we're on a whole different type yeah. of time. You know, we always always been ahead of our time and our, and our children are too. We got to give them y'all kids to look up to. Like, my kids need to look up to your kids. My kid might play baseball. Your kid might know, like you said, stocks and things like that. That's the cool kid I want you talking to, the one that know the stocks and stuff like that. That's why I want you looking up to. the ones that are applying the energy in places that aren't going to make us greater. Greater. Right. Like, we got to be conscious with just what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And especially when we've seen something that hasn't worked. We seen that, yeah. We went through that. Yeah, I mean, we in our generation, man. We we the generational curse breakers. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's what we. we that's, is. What, that, that's what we here for. We and that's why we, we fixed that, a lot of that, things that, that we had to. Um, like, yeah, we did do that. That that is a lot of things that we had to face that a, a lot of other people didn't have to because you're the one that was chosen to take the weight and turn the energy mm-hmm. and redirect your family tree. Yeah, you know. So yeah, a lot of our fathers was prisoned. A lot of our fathers was deadbeats. Right. We're not that. We're right. sitting in the room with guys that's yeah. not that. So there's there's a lot of things. There was a lot of wrongs that are being made right by us. Facts. So you'll see the results of that mm-hmm. in 10, 15 years as there's just a different caliber, a different breed, a different mindset, a different identity. Yeah. A you different guys power are, in, y'all are responsible. Young men and women. Y'all are responsible yeah. for that. Because y'all are teaching them something that every father can't teach their child. So what can I do to help my community? I can let my child be an example in a good light, a positive light. I don't have to let them go on Disney Channel and all of this and they can run their career. No, I got me an audience so I can bring yeah. them to their kids and say, hey, I'm writing the jokes. Right. I'm writing what he's going to say next. And I'm going to make sure I write a real story so that the kids can grow. Because these other creators that have control over TV stations like we're in right now, mm-hmm. they're making sure they're putting out things that's going to poison our kids. Absolutely. So we as men together, we got to go against that vision. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was woke up this morning, I seen me here already sitting in front of you guys. Like okay. I already seen that. I just know I had to get there and do it. Mm-hmm. I already knew I was going to. You know what I'm saying? And that brings me back to manifesting you. One one one, mm-hmm. which I love the one one one. I haven't read this book. I'm not too much of a reader, but I'm gonna start reading because I know you. It's an easy read, bro. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's it's what they call it, easy read. You know, look at look at it. It's it's keys. It's it's, it's pearls of wisdom. It's pieces of wisdom. Like you right. you can you can read eight sentences. Right. That's that. This book's look. You know what I mean? Look what he did you, with this. I like what like he did with this book. He didn't make it some look of so them challenging. Are, uh, yeah. It's not. It's not at all. Yeah, some, it don't look some, like it's, it's, it's a yeah. hand, It's a couple of paragraphs. But in each of them, there's something that if you digest it and, and apply, it's going to change your life. It's going to change the way that you experience life. You know what I just had? I know what I think. Like how he said, they teach our kids all the finesse. You took the finesse up out. Like, take yeah. the finesse. Give me all the good jewels and golds. And it's here. Yeah. He yeah. got it in here. It's 111 keys Dang. to unlocking your divinity. So that's where the 111 comes from. That's what it is. 111 keys. And the 111, my right. birthday, my birthday is January 11th. Nice. I, I am 111. You are. Yeah. So that's and, it. And, 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 and everybody don't here know what 111 stands yeah, for. They the, know that. That, that series uh, of numbers is a, is a special one. And, <laughs> and, um, 
and I'm honored to have it. Yeah, and yeah. my construct, you know what I'm saying? So it sent me here on a particular frequency. And that was good to learn that your birthday is one one one, and then your books are one one one. Cause yeah. you got one one eleven hundred eleven keys to. Uh, you got another book. What's yeah, the other the, book? So the, my book? my second book is uh, Teach Them Young, and okay. that's a hundred and eleven keys to building phenomenal beings. Like what we was just talking about. Yeah. It's things that every child should know, mm -hmm. and it's broken down into you know a bunch of different chapters. The same way that manifesting you is, it breaks your life down into a couple different chapters, chapters and gives you some game on each of them. So, And this is on www.brianhippolite.com. Absolutely. That's nice. Yeah, if yeah. you guys want to, it's on www.brianhippolite.com. Yeah. Keep going. And then I got a, a uh, my my fifth book, because my, my third book is actually um, Tom G's Process and Purpose. Yeah, of you know, uh, under... D uh, underground Le legend, yeah, lessons from like an underground it. legend, yeah. Like so that was that. that's actually the third book that I wrote. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome for our culture to have an artist that has a book. Yeah, like seriously, Ab absolutely, that tells a great story, and especially since everybody want to be in hip hop. Mm -hmm. This is get these lessons from this underground right, legend. Yeah. I I can tell you what it's like. He went being through in it. this game for twenty years. Mm -hmm. With the ups and the downs is like what it's like to to lose people, what it's like to gain people, what what what, it, what the whole experience is, what the challenges were. That will help anybody that'll, coming that'll up help you next on your because path. if you don't think that uh, he on the same path as you and you ain't gonna go through the same thing as him, you in the wrong game. Yeah, y'all yeah. gonna go through the you same know, similar thing. Right, smart people learn things on their own. Wise people learn from other people. Right, you that's know? how I learn. And you get and you and you and it's access is undeserved access sometimes. And you could just sit back and learn from people. Mm. But what we see is most people be sitting back and judging. So you don't get the opportunity to actually learn to take in because you've already in that judgment created a barrier. Well, you can't learn. Well, you no can't more. learn from. Them. Yeah, you, you know? probably took. Oh, he got on a gold chain or he got dreads. Yeah, and you missed the whole mess. You missed the whole. You missed the whole message. Dang, this man finna teach you how to take care of your kids. Yeah, I got a problem with like grown people worrying about who I'm gonna be with next, and their kids ain't right. <laughs> like you on social media, you like I'm single. Hold on, your son got a flag football game. That that there, you ain't single. Marry him. Tie be be married to your him. be married to the cause. Be yeah, married be man. married to your position. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your your actions should show the definition of your title. Facts. And for a guy like you, a guy like Trey, uh, successful uh, business um, manifestors. So basically, y'all wake up and y'all clear y'all mind. Y'all put y'all mind on what set y'all wanted to be on or what y'all gonna manifest. And in a life like that, what is finding a woman like? I'm asking both of you guys. I'm gonna start with Brian, but then I'm going to you. All right. All right. So I'm gonna take you back though, because uh, you said like we wake up and get and get in our mind, and really what it is 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 getting out of our mind. And, okay. And you you supposed to be letting your soul lead your life. Okay. You know what I mean? We're as beings, we're all um, made of four components: mind, body, soul, and energy. Mm -hmm. Out of out of those things, most of us are allowing our body or our mind to lead us. But really, our soul is the oldest part, the wisest part, the one that's connected to whatever you believe is in the sky. I never that's heard that. That's the part that's supposed to be leading you. Your mind is more so the navigation, mm. but it's your soul that's supposed to be leading. I always seen it like direction. I always seen it like. Whatever mindset you in, mm -hmm. or get you where you need to go. I never thought about it like a, from a standpoint mm -hmm. of you. And I, I take what you say, and I, it's credible to me because I got to meet you, and I got to get my own report on you. It's kind of like the streets. If you don't know they bought that, you don't say they bought that. Right. But when you know the guy, and you got to, it's like my word is credible. So I listen to you, and I'm like, hey, you might want to listen to this guy. Man, it's real. <laughs> you know it's, it's, it's absolutely real, bro. Food stamps, the four banks, I'm a smoke champ. Passport is inked up, look at all the stamps. Being curious to get you rich, take a chance. Being skeptical of Lee, you broke in the past. Abolitionists riding in the foreign whip. Dry powder in the market, bout to buy the dip. Them hoes pay me every month, you should see the drip. They all checking in at once, they love to pay a pimp, yeah. My fight goal might need lipo. Title 15, word treats a psycho. 
And I'm about to zero out every cycle This ultra very shit flying overhead It's a damn shame how they profit off of ignorance While I'm in first class about to order more drinks Throwing mo green to see mo pink Also known as Mr. Mo Band My affidavits kill the life, baby, I ain't glad from killer to survive, now we let you thrive. The other side. Struggle ain't like the vibe, so we change the ties. Meet me at the high ride. Live from the other side. It was do or die, and we did it right. From killer to survive, now we let you thrive. Struggle ain't like the vibe, so we change the ties. Meet me at the high ride. Live from the other side. My code is encrypted. My currency crippin'. When you stop living in your limits, you gon' see the difference. We count niches. Compound interest. Don't understand it, you gon' pay it, you know it, you get it. Round here, your money made money for you even spend it. Set a target goal and the guys hit it. Remain true to the game, that loyalty paying. Dividend stocks and royalty payments. Vertically integrated, mama, we made it. If I speak above your head, then you should elevate it. This the kind of talk that's reserved for the owners. To some cojones, but refuse to let somebody own us. I ain't gonna hold you, I'm just trying to mold you. You gotta see it to believe it, so I'm trying to show you. We're born live from the other side, escape that preschool to prison pipeline. Live from the other side, it was do or die, and we did it right. From killer to survive, now we're live from the other side. Struggle ain't like the vibe, so we change the ties. Meet me at the high ride. Live from the other side, it was do or die, and we did it right. From killing to survive, oh, nowadays we cry. Struggle late like the vibe, so we change the tides. Meet me at the high ride. Live from the other side. You know, manifesting is just taking something from your mind and putting it in your possession. Mm. Turning a thought into a thing. That's mm. all that's that's all it is. Like a noun. And mm-hmm. and that happens. We we're all creative beings. We have the ability to do that Mm. we just don't live intentionally to do that and you know so when you don't live intentional you're going to be going through life the way whatever way life is pushing you yeah you know what i mean you don't got no morals you ain't standing for nothing yeah and i'm a firm believer in the best way to predict the future is to create it yeah Mm. I'm a firm believer in that. Yeah. So you want you want something you want to. See. First of all, most people don't have an opportunity or don't give themselves the opportunity to see where they want to be, mm. because they have everybody has 24 hours in a day. But I look at things from the aspect of your average person, because I used to be your ordinary person before I transitioned to extraordinary, if you will. Mm. So between working. Uh, maybe going to school, they might have a relationship, they might have children, they got to do homework, they got to fix dinner, this, this, that, and the third. They may have only two to three particular hours left in a day. Your average person now, you got the hustlers who's going to work, but I'm just talking about your average person. They might have two to three hours in a day mm-hmm. that they have to themselves. And so those two to three hours, what you going to do? Then nine times out of ten, they're going to Netflix. They're going to catch up on their football, catch up on their novellas. You know what I'm saying? Their stories, whatever the case may be yeah. or whatever. So they don't even give the, And then they'll go to sleep and right back into the treadmill, the rat race to do it again. So it's a repetitious cycle. So they don't even give themselves enough time or make the time to say, well, you know what? I want to be here in 90 days. I want to be here in six months. I want to be here in the yeah. next year or whatever. Take, they don't yeah. even give themselves, they don't even u- utilize that time to do that. Mm-hmm. You, you understand what I'm saying? So that's where the vision comes in and and the execution behind the vision. But you got to have the vision first to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to take these three hours and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the first month the first three hours, the first month of these three hours a day for the next 30 days, and I'm going to visualize where I want to be. We ain't even going to write it down yet yeah, or just, do, do any of that because it starts with the mind. So I'm going to visualize where I want to be for the next 30 because you might not get it in the first three, five, seven, whatever days. Mm-hmm. But at the end of them 30 days, now you visualize where you want to be. Now you're going to take these next 15 or whatever days to write it down mm-hmm. where I want to be at. 
Now we, we could reverse engineer. That's what I, partly what I do with my consulting firm. And that's like what but he said. You're taking it and you're making it something physical. Yeah. There you go. Because yeah. now once you yeah. write it down, you done put it, oh, you I'm took it out your mind. Yeah, in. And you done put it into the universe. Yeah. yeah. Right. I think the people that see all the various things that, that, he, that he and I do um, as individuals or as a collective, the things that just they see us, you know, popping up and doing, like they, they say, man, I don't know how you do it. Like, I don't, you know. How, how you do it? Do yeah. so much with that with that same day, and I could and, you know I just don't see how I could do all those different things, and and they not doing nowhere near what we got going on, but they yeah. still saying they can't do. They can't some, just see some, their self. They, yeah, doing they can't. They like there's not enough time in their day. Mm -hmm. You're just mismanaging your time. Yeah. Cause okay. you got the cause to, to to live like how we live. First of all, you gonna run anything. You can't you can't wake up with the world and run it. Mm. You got to be up before it. Yeah. You got to, you know She's how much you waking up at 7 a.m. You know, trillions of hey, dollars are made that. before 7 a.m. every morning. Yeah, it's already going. You're not going to tell me that you want some money. You letting trillions of dollars be made before you even start to get to it. To it. And yeah, you just you need to look. No motherfucking money, man. Yeah. No, nah, you want to be, you know, you you want you might want to be comfortable. But mm -hmm. when we decided we wanted to start running the world, we started looking at things that uh, would empower us to do so. I got to capitalize on all this time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And by you at, I, at this moment I'm going to, I'm not to control, no, go, go, bro. Go. At, at this moment I'm 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 going to sleep roughly as much as I can control it around 10:30. Okay. And I'm getting up at 4:30, 5 o'clock. And get and, and get into it. Yeah, I'm getting ahead. Getting on. to it, bro. Yeah. Earning, earning, earning money. Mm -hmm. Cause it and, states that uh, uh, they up while we sleep. Man, the stop, the stop, the stop market opens at, at at a particular time, not nine, you know, nine thirty in in our time. Mm -hmm. uh, but the crypto market and the forex market is twenty four hours a day. It's running. So there's money moving. Trade. It's coming in from different time zones, ain't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, we need y'all to tell like us a metronome. And clicking like a metronome. <laughs> yeah, we need, need y'all to help us with that. Is, is it any way that uh, uh, anybody in my audience can get help from you guys with that? Oh, yeah, man. You just hit, hit us up. You know, at Manifest University, okay. um, I teach uh, wealth strategies. Okay. You know, tonight I'm going to be teaching a class to, to all of my members at Manifest at University. Manifest. Okay. Um, on NFT, how mm -hmm. to get money in this in a, in a NFT space and different mm -hmm. things uh, to invest in, um, to watch your money grow, where to put your money and watch it grow. You know, I left corporate America. Um, actually, November made four years okay, that's uh, good. since I left cor corporate America, and I did that's so awesome. um, via cryptocurrency investing and learning forex trading. Where you are, you are one skill set away from financial freedom. You one skill set away from being able to produce at will the way that you need to for you and yours. Mm -hmm. uh, and I began to learn um, cryptocurrencies in 2017. In yeah. 2017, cryptocurrencies had, um, or in 2016, 2015, cryptocurrencies had made the most new millionaires in the calendar year. I didn't know that. That happened in 2016 and 2000. Mm -hmm. Uh, in 2015, so I was like, when 2017 came, I'll be damned yeah, if it do it again, and I'm not shit. in that. Yeah. You did? I'm not gonna let that happen. Do yeah, exactly. So I didn't well, know let that. me start learning. Yeah, why the let hell? me let me start figuring this out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I, I at that point in time, man, I just doubled down on my hustle, mm -hmm. and so I could start taking my nine to five checks and just invest it in cryptocurrency. Let it be. And paying. For it to be in an uh, uh, online academy that taught that would treat me for it straight. So you got your own class, but you came through a class. Yeah, absolutely. I ain't got no problem paying for knowledge that's gonna connect me to the where I, where I'm trying to go. That's that's sweet. where our culture be failing. I done yeah. paid thousands in tuition on self education. That's right. another thing. I done paid thousands. Mm. Thousands. When I say Forget thousands, I'm thousands. talking you about too. thousands upon thousands in self education. And these like, guys are <clears> up <throat> here giving <throat> us the game that they pay for for free. Let me break this down. A nine That's crazy. figure earner. Mm -hmm. A nine figure earner is spending seven figures a year on education. Mm. A seven figure earner is spending five figures a year on education. Okay. Okay? Now, we know a lot of five-figure earners mm -hmm. that don't spend three figures of education a year on themselves, and that's why they never get to level six. They can stay there. You didn't learn, you don't, you're not learning what will get you. Mm -hmm. What we know how to do, 
everything we our senses have taught us is only good for survival. Right. It can never help you thrive out here. Mm. So you're going to have to learn more. You're going to have to, first of all, learn self. Yeah. You know that if, was a jewel if, in itself too. Real, real talk. I never thought about that. Was a jewel. If you want to, if you want to thrive, you need to go from inward perception. Fact. The, the, our, our senses are limited. Is this card full? All right. Good. Let's go. Our senses are limited. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even if I hold it in my hand, you seen it with your eyes. You can only see this side. It mm -hmm. not showing you my my whole hand. You don't see the full picture. Mm -hmm. Every part of our senses is, is is a limitation based off of your experience. Right. It's not the full picture. It ain't. So you got to get out of your five senses. That's why I say you got to get out of what our mind is telling us. You got to be led by your soul, bro. That just brought me to the song. We ain't gonna get into the song, but that's what the song was about. What you see and it ain't really. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing too. Well, what he said, like, you see only one side of it, right? Mm -hmm. So, so when you see, when you see entrepreneurs, but we'll just say ourselves, right? When you, you might catch us in different cities, you might catch us on a yacht, you might catch us doing these things, and it, and you're at work, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody's at work saying, "Dang, it's a random Tuesday," it's a Tuesday and these niggas is on a yacht, right? You feel I what I'm saying? That that's not though. that's that's not mm -hmm. fair or whatever. But you didn't see the hours of dojo work that was put in. You didn't see you didn't see the 19 hour days. Mm -hmm. yeah. You didn't see the trial and error. You didn't see the I spent bread with this and invested and it ain't go right. Ain't you know what I'm right. saying? You didn't see the years and the time, energy and effort of the dojo work that was put in. Mm -hmm. All you seeing yeah. is the result. So now you at work on Tuesday and we on a yacht and you like, hey, that's not fair. Yeah. Nah, listen, nigga, it is fair. Listen, I yeah. left, <laughs> like said, left my nine to five, put my hustle, hustle in, in the overdrive. overdrive. Yeah. Ain't yeah. 40 hours weeks it's when i wake until i close my eyes yeah that that's type that type of hustle now at this point we down in probably like four day work weeks right <laughs> right because you got it got good but listen it's been a good three four years of creating and mm -hmm. building and building a legacy mm -hmm. and and putting people in position that gives us the power to step back because we don't it's not we don't need, need to be as labor intensive now we need to create yeah, you and, got and, and you know and, and, and delegate and stuff like that. But we had to build infrastructures in order to make that happen, and yeah. we've done it individually. Yeah, and we've done it as a conglomerate. But y'all still are special. Y'all still are like over average, average to our community because you don't have too many people that take the class and then apply. own the class. No, people apply it. Okay. They don't, okay, I came to this TV station and mm -hmm. I took the classes. Mm -hmm. Now I own my own TV show. Right, right. Okay, yeah, because you, you turn own, it into ownership. Yeah, you went to yeah. the class and it was so many people in the class. They wasn't thinking, hey, I'm going to have my own college. I'm going to have my own manifest university. Yeah. That makes you special to me. I'm yeah. just telling no, you no. because you just re y'all just regular to y'all. But from my standpoint, no, we not. That oh, that I like that too. Because I, <laughs> I just, I be humble. You know no, what I'm saying? But I know I'm like, I'm humble, but I know who I am. That's what's up. I, I know, I, I know who I am. I know, I, I know when when they sent me that, it's like there he goes. Mm -hmm. said, I know it's not norm uh, to you. Don't be alone. Yeah, don't be alone. Don't you, don't you see don't God be when you look at me. Exactly. Oh yeah, <laughs> you niggas gonna you give see, me some bars. You see God. Yeah, y'all gonna give me some bars. That's what this tattoo on my face say. Okay, say God, God is rising. Okay. You know, so that, and that's what you see when you see me. You see that's God lit. rising. That's lit. You know? That's lit. When and I put, put that there because I knew I wasn't never going to have to work for nobody again. Facts. You, you know what I mean? Like, that, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was an that's accomplishment. Vision. It was an accomplishment, bro. Yeah, that's it was an accomplishment. And, and I was working hard for that. At some point in time, that was my main goal. Nobody else knew that. Uh -huh. They thinking, you know, he running off the business. I'm just... I went when I knew I wasn't never gonna have to look back, and I was straight, and my mama was gonna be straight, and me and my daughters was was gonna be straight. Mm -hmm. I ain't tattooing this this thing, you know, like you know, yeah, I, ain't I ain't go back. crazy, but yeah, yeah. but you ain't but going yeah, back. I ain't go back, but you know what I did? I became an owner, and I, I I went back to that job. Okay, but I went back with a food truck. And was like, hey, y'all, y'all food trash. I'm gonna park out here. <laughs> I know y'all food trash. I used to work here. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a park my food truck yeah. out here. That's and lit. serve. And they let you do and, it. Yeah, that, and they, and they, and they let me do it. That's and real. and this is what happens when ownership, ownership and equity is is, is the way to change a mm -hmm. situation. You know, mm -hmm. so 
you reposition yourself. So I went back over there yeah. and in one day of serving, mm -hmm. I would make more than what I used to make in a week working there. <laughs> Y'all paying me as a contract, yeah. that's different. <laughs> They you respect know, you different though they, too, and, bro. And there were still people working there from when I worked there. That's sad. two years. Two years later, that hurts. You know, and there was and and there was still some of the same people say, "How you do it?" I, y'all was there when I stopped talking and start studying. Y'all was there when I was telling you, "Yo, you need to buy Ripple. You need to buy this cryptocurrency right here." It's, Nobody it's about Y'all was there when I told you about this business that I was that I wanted to start. Mm -hmm. Like, <clears throat> I got to it. Dang. I'm glad I met you guys though too because I quit my job six years ago. Mm. I worked at a glass company. I was rapping in the parking lot. I had homeboys that knew how to rap with me. They still, but I'm glad that I met guys like you because I don't even have to. Yeah, I could just let them learn. You gotta, you gotta inspire. Yeah. But you gotta go back every time you get to a mountaintop king. Mm -hmm. You gotta t go back to the people in that valley that you just came from. You gotta right. tell them what you know from that, from your view, from your perception, Facts. from from that change. But you also have to understand that everybody can't go, and right. everybody's yeah. not gonna go. Mm. So tell you them. you give them you can give them the jewels, mm -hmm. but don't don't pull nobody. That's don't not, pull yeah. nobody. So yeah, because mm -hmm. that oh. camera can't really see you. Okay, don't 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 pull nobody. Don't pull nobody. Just give them the jewels mm -hmm. and let them take it, and That's then it. see what they do with it. Because, excuse me, you you a you can waste time trying to pull people, mm -hmm. and you can also you can also wind up going back down yourself in a lot of yeah. senses. Yeah, because you it's feel easy what to I'm pull saying. Down. Like yeah, they say, yeah, like yeah. if somebody drowning, save them. A, there's a certain way to save a person because you they'll mess around and drown you yeah. trying to trying to save, save themselves. Yeah, right. and you, you know. Try to help them. Yeah. It's always gonna be easier for the people around you to pull them, pull you down, than it is for you to pull them mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be harder for, for you to take somebody somewhere they've never been, yeah. than for them to bring you somewhere that you've already that you've always been. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you just gotta be aware of that. But you asked us a question um, and related it to relationships, right? And we, you know, I we, we drifted away from that. So um, wait, hold on. Let me set it up. Okay. Boom. I'm going um, to my apartment yesterday, and. Uh, the ladies, they kind of older. They like in their forties. They got kids my age or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. They're like, "Why you single?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Cause I got a lot going on." Right. And I said, "I'm gonna ask you guys that because I know y'all got what I got going on." Right. So I don't know if you're single or not, but what's what's up with that? I'm in a polyamorous relationship. I, well, you got to break that down. No, people. I know what it means, though. I mean, you yeah, know, break but, it down but, for the but, people, but, though. Yeah, but do, do the people know what it means? Uh, this I'm guy's a, the I'm guy. A, it means, a, wait, he's the guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Put my shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the man right here. You, you remember that mystical? I mean, Y'all niggas know that The man right here. Yeah, I'm in a polyamorous relationship. That means um, I, I am in a relationship with two women, like, collectively, you know, um, those two women are in a rela are in a relationship yeah. with a Everybody's woman and a man. Like it's a it's a it's a three way street. It's a beautiful trifecta. So and is it is it okay? Let me ask. This. I got question. Is it one that you like? Okay, you can have my babies, and then you most smartest, so we ain't gonna get you pregnant. You just don't get pregnant. If that if that was the case, I wouldn't be saying it on TV. Then. Oh, okay, you know, man. Because you, <laughs> know. you know I was. Uh, I'm, I'm supposed to no, do that though too. I'm supposed to get deep. I'm supposed to get in it. To go back to. Even the, the the purpose of it is me and these women align. That's what's up. The, any situation that you want to get into, however it goes, however it's broken down, you want to be in alignment with that person, meaning that their energy is like yours, their goals are like yours, their aspirations is like yours. And, I um, need to know and that. you need to go, and, and you're both wanting to go in the same direction. Man, you ever tried to run with somebody going in the opposite direction? Y'all not going to get far. I can't align with one, but you align with two. Man, listen. You lined up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I I am the line. If that's what's honest, up, though. But you, know you took more time than I took to get develop there yourself, as your and that's and, 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 and that, yeah, and that's, yeah. And, that's, and that's what it is. Yeah. You can't align with anything correctly if you don't align with yourself correctly. Yeah, you there you know already. I mean? And then that's uh, yeah, and and then there's the 
see we look at it and you just see you know we think about the sexual component of it but as far as is that's the that's supposed to be the last part of our reality that we're dealing with anyway mm -hmm. you know what i mean tell them about that that sunday morning breakfast bill <laughs> yeah, right oh yeah right, like yeah yeah y'all 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 want to y'all like, don't want to have yeah you don't you really don't want mm. this <laughs> right, right you, gotta, yeah. you really because listen let me tell you when women get together they get hungry mm -hmm. and then they look at each other and something in them says i want to I'll eat her. I don't yeah. know what like they be it's in a competition. In I think so you know, I could go to bodega and and eat for three ninety nine and be happy. If mm -hmm. I got to take these my two daughters and more for my ladies to eat, that's a hundred dollar bill real yeah, quick. So in case you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> case you, listen. Yeah. And that was just breakfast, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, was just, that was just breakfast. Yeah, and, for and, real. And, and, for women. And, yeah, you know what I mean. So, but what it is is um the collective economics. Aspect, you know what I mean? The next child definitely, like I said, I was on the couch with the first when the first baby came, the second baby came, she came with, you know, into a stock portfolio, cryptocurrency, while at her own bank account, different things like mm -hmm. that. This next but the next baby gonna be a trust fund baby. This next Thank baby you. already gonna be set. I want y'all to have that baby. You know what I mean? Is the is know that child <laughs> that child been straight. That child I'm gonna tell that, that child, child say hey, you they straight. already had you. Your daddy got two women to take care of you. You straight. <laughs> Man, my, you straight. My daughters, uh, my daughters love having two stepmoms. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> like too. I, it's, only it's, it's, it's I only know one other guy. I only know one other guy in my life, and I know thousands of people. I got a hundred thousand people on TikTok and all this shit. I mm. know my followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. thousands of people. I got a hundred thousand people on TikTok and all this shit. I know my followers. I only know one other guy in my life that got that type of relationship, and I never met his girls or nothing. I only ever seen him pull up or whatever. Mm -hmm. But he's a stand up guy. You, know you gotta be. You got. You gotta be, man. And um, you have to be understanding. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, and it's different for me, man. I, I tell you the truth, bro. I told them getting into it, like y'all gonna have to deal with me because I've had multiple women, but not. I've had multiple women at the same time. Not even, but not in a relationship. Not, not where I'm ahead. pouring into you, you pouring into me. I'm pouring into you, pouring into me. We pouring it like, mm -hmm. and. And there's objectives for us to grow and mature. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're in one relationship, even if you got two people and they just, you know, separate situations, yeah. there's a lack of accountability. There's all type of mm -hmm. things that it's that's new. not gonna happen it's when old. there's a third person in the room mm -hmm. to be, you know, be accountable. So even that, as a man, like, um, you got to be able to satisfy a woman, and I don't mean that in any sexual manner. Mm -hmm. Like, there are parts of the, all those other parts of us I that are supposed to be watered yeah. and given light so that they can grow. I and notice that's when they get uninterested when they peep the man, whoever they with, and mm -hmm. they learn that they they think that they can learn something from them. Once they learn that they can't learn nothing from them, yeah. they get turned yeah. off. Yeah, and they, they, and they find somebody else to, yeah, to arouse their, their intellect. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do. They actually do. I believe in the, the, uh, the saying that girls... Just wanna have fun. <laughs> so I be just like, I let them have fun, dog. And it's like, I treat all my women like, do what you wanna do, and I'll judge you from that. You know what I'm saying? You do what you wanna do. I don't wanna control you. I don't wanna, I don't want what I got going on to make you act a certain type of way. So just like you got two women, right? Mm. Just because you're in line, I don't need you to just act like you're in line with me because it's gonna be a, Friction. I really need you to get down into yourself too and love yourself yeah. first. Yeah. And I'm just spitting this out for people that gonna try to do it because like people see people situations like uh, Kodak or Young Dolph. You want to be Kodak when he's the rapper, but you don't want to be him when he's doing time. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, this right. man goes and do his time. He don't tell on nobody. He don't snitch. He don't cry. He don't be like, oh, he did it. You know, people can't do that. If mm. it was another kid in his situation, he would have been said, oh, no, I didn't do it. Get me out of jail quick. So don't just want to have the two women, and then you don't want to make sure you took the time to get yourself in line and get them in line, and they faking it. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's just for the audience. You yeah. Know? And, and I'm going to go to you right here, my man. This man got it. He got it down <laughs> pat. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, that's not that's not my cup of tea personally. I'm, You know what I'm saying? I really just you know want to have one personally mm -hmm. um the the group F economics of it does make sense to me yeah, though so you know so i'm not, i'm not against it mm -hmm. and 
you know, who's to say that I may not go into that realm sometime in the future, but personally, just the way my whole equilibrium is set up. My parents were together for 28 years when my pa my father passed away. So, you know, that's how, um, God rest his soul, um, um, that's how I was raised up. So I was raised up in a, you know what I'm saying, a yeah. monogamous situation or whatever. Now, when I'm not in something, you know, you know, we, we, we do our thing. But when I'm in something, I'm totally committed. So are committed. you in something? No, I'm not. I'm recently out of something. So I'm I'm out here on the, you know, I'm so out here So what now. does a girl do to attract an entrepreneur, author, super father, consistent uh, businessman? Um, that's a good question. Um, <clears throat> be be understanding. Mm. That's that's first of all. Um, mm. for me, that's a good one. Yeah, be understanding. Take some notes, sisters. Uh, yeah, Please, that's, some notes. yeah, they want to know. Um, yeah, we're gonna give you some real. real is good that notes. because um, everything you got going on, you can't explain it? Um, I mean, there's levels to understanding. Okay, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, I no, can. I need to know that. Though. I can. I can explain it, but be yeah. understanding as far as time is concerned. Be mm. I like understanding, uh, affectionate and appreciative. Mm -hmm. So, um, being appreciative and understanding comes in line with the time schedule. So, for instance, I just moved to Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. So now let's say if I was talking to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not gonna be back in town for another two weeks cause I'm flying out to Fort Lauderdale when I leave here and then I got some other business to handle in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm probably not gonna be back into Atlanta for another two weeks. I had to come to Tampa, handle some business. Now I'm not gonna go into specific details per se mm -hmm. of what business I'm handling, but I got business in Tampa mm -hmm. and I got business in, in Miami mm -hmm. and then I'll be back to Atlanta and then I'll be back to the business that I got going yeah. on there. So you may not see me for 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 two you're you're not gonna see mm -hmm. me for two weeks a b you're not gonna talk to me every day every other day maybe for a couple of days because women I, go got things, I got things I got things to do <laughs> so do, go you gotta be understanding mm -hmm. and appreciative that when I come back and I do choose to spend some time with you be appreciative and considerate of the time that I'm choosing to utilize with you because I could be doing. A bunch of other things I could be making money I could be just doing nothing because when you live in this lifestyle uh, or being an entrepreneur and you're so busy and thinking and delegating and things of that nature mm -hmm. sometimes doing nothing is a lot because you just need to just decompress sometimes right, mind, you know what I'm saying so I could really be in my crib by myself enjoying my time by myself but I choose to spend it with you so be appreciative of that as well too so um, those are some of the things for me that was well explained. And one thing, when you first took off, I knew that you knew what you wanted. You know what I'm saying? And also, too, what I don't want. That's I think, more, I that's think, more I important. think that's more important. That's I was going to say, he took the words out of my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Hit on that. So, so knowing what you don't like is more, in my opinion, is more important than what you do like because everybody has qualities that you like about them. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're physically attractive or they're witty or mm -hmm. they're smart, they're intellectual, whatever the case. But it's the things that you don't like about them and can you deal with them and are the or are those are a deal breaker for you. Right. So it's more about what you don't like about a person than what you do like about them. You right. should know six things about yourself and based uh, the things that are connected to you based off of these six things. And it's going to help you avoid a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. uh, you should know your do's and your don'ts. Your wills, your wants, your must-haves, and your non-negotiables. If you know those six things, if you can sit down, write it out, think about it, know mm -hmm. these are things I will do. Yeah. These things I won't do. Yeah. Yeah, these are things I must have. Is this in the book? Yes. Good. Yeah, this is in the Manifesting You book. This is in uh, is in T. Some matter of fact, it's one of the first keys in the T. Some Young book. It's, okay. So this is one of the first thing keys I'm, I'm telling. I'm telling the, the kid. <clears throat> okay. You know, and and the T. Some Young book. Just to be clear, is not just for children because it's mm -hmm. it's the same wisdom. It's just maybe uh, watered down a little bit for them for them mm -hmm. for them to understand. understand yeah. Um, but it teach uh, it teaches adults every day. Yeah. You know what I mean. That's um, so. Those. Teach them young 111 keys to building a phenomenal being. So you're never at an age where you're not building yourself. You're either building, in this life, you either build or you're destroying mm -hmm. constantly yeah. with your energy. Yeah. So, you know, 
And I never looked at it like that, but just by you saying it, it's just like, it is like hot and cold. It's no like, in the middle, like, what are you putting out? Are you putting yeah. out for this reason of attention or for this reason of attention? It's no in the middle. It's no, it's no, in, it's no yeah. in between, it's no in the middle. And if you're not gonna use your energy correctly, you're not gonna get access to the things you're supposed to have. Mm -hmm. Okay. You gonna keep going through the same cycles. Retardation. Yeah, all that. <laughs> Retardation. <laughs> so I was watching you uh, on your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, I think YouTube channel is Brian Hippolyte. Yes. You have a lot of uh, content where it's like you're giving back to your audience and uh, you're watering them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just even like going on your platform because you're talking to people cool. Like you... It's like if you talk to a flower, like, bitch, oh, shut up, bitch, this bitch is going to die. If you talk to a flower, like, hey, I love you, you good. Right, you, right. It's going to, the shit's going right. to fucking come up to you. So how you <laughs> even talk to me as a black dude, I'm with that shit. Like, because the other people that I look up to, they are they don't look like you. Right. So I'm just like, I'm glad. And representation is important to us. You're now, free. Go. And Go. I take, I used, I went through a, a phase where, like, I wanted to only learn from people who look like me. Mm. And I understand it, and I understand you know why, why we're doing it. I'm not, and I don't even want to speak against it. What I do right. want to know is all this shit is ours. Yeah. All this knowledge is ours, mm. and all of it's been stolen. Mm. So anytime I do find some knowledge in the hands of somebody who took my people captive, I'm getting back something that was mine anyway. So I'm mm. not going to pigeonhole myself from where I can receive knowledge from. Mm. You know what I mean? I, but I had to evolve out of that because I did was in the stage where oh I just wanted to hear from black people, mm -hmm. or you know, and and took a pride in, it. and we're supposed right. to have you know have, yeah, have pride in that to. absolutely you know absolutely. But don't um, be uh, but don't but don't set don't cap uh, yourself. you know yeah don't set a limitation don't put yourself in the fence. And I see I see our, you know our, our people do that when mm -hmm. that knowledge was yours anyway. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you got to get it back. You got to get it back. So I got some questions set up to you that for you that I didn't get to get to, and I know my um, audience wants to hear this. Okay. As far as from comments and feedback and things like that. Uh, so uh, this is something that I don't know. Give me an example of how I can be a divine creator of my reality because watching you, you were talking about that. Mm -hmm. And that was something that I was like, I need to be that. You need to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to be that. Man, listen. One, I, I break it down in the book. Mm -hmm. Definitely manifesting you 111 keys of unlocking your divinity. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people think creating their reality has so much to do. Well, clearly because it has the word create in it. We think about, oh, I have to do this. I have to build this. I have to do... Creating a reality that you desire is eliminating the things that you want. Mm. That's what that's Ooh. that's that's where you start. That's where you start because then you're eliminating the distractions. You're eliminating the resistance. You're el uh, eliminating the things that will pull you away from the space that you need to be in. So it starts with eliminating the things that aren't contributing to your I elevation. Understand that. So like that's that's the beginning of creating yeah. the you know the. But the I never reality. thought like that. Like by you talking and saying that right now, it's changing my mindset. You know what I'm saying? So right. keep going. That's what that's what it's supposed to do, and then, and then you begin to get a greater understanding of what your purpose is, and and we all have a purpose. Then we all have a divine purpose. We all have a genius level, and we all have a God state of existence that we can operate on. All these things are frequencies. Mm -hmm. So you start to eliminate the parts, the things that are in your environment that are lowering your frequency. Yeah. You know, fear, doubt disbelief those things lower your frequency mm -hmm. you know what i mean faith and fear can't be in, at the same place at the same time you've never seen them in the same room mm -hmm. they're the same thing matter of fact it's the same chemical reaction that's released in your body when you uh believe in something or when you doubt something it's only your mind that decides which one you're going to right go that's with. why i got a problem with not a problem manifesting and i got you right here in front of me mm -hmm. so i could be sitting right here and i could be like this is a nice a cool shirt i don't want to get no water on this bitch because this bitch da, da, da. soon as i do like this boom i get water on the bitch because i thought it i don't already put it out like i can have on a white shirt and i'm like i don't need to spill nothing you're on focusing this. on what you don't want right and it comes quicker because that's the law of attraction everything Dang, what, you just help me if, bro if, if, if you stop focusing like this is what we do we focus on the things that we don't want then we wonder why they keep showing up that's what you're mm. showing that's what you're giving your attention to and you telling me to eliminate that first before i start pounding. yeah yeah because sometimes you would look I, at you would look at that and just say 
I'm not going to spend my spill this water on me. It's a dry day for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be Scuba Steve today. Right. However, got however you got to say it. Mm -hmm. But rather than saying, rather than thinking about the problem, people even when it come down to money, people think that they be thinking about. Oh, I want to get money, I want to get money, but what they're really going through their head and what they're really focusing and meditating, which is your energy and mm -hmm. focus on, where your, where your focus goes, your energy flows. So mm -hmm. what they're really focusing on is their lack of money or what's going to happen if the money don't come. Yeah. And they're thinking about things like that. So you're attracting those things to you. You're willing to to you. The universe, God, your ancestors, whoever you believe in, they're up there mm. receiving the frequency and the energy and the vibration of what you're doing Damn. and saying, well, that's... Oh, that's what she says you want? Because all this moves off of vibration. Yeah. So the vibration that you that you put out is the one that's coming back and to you. And the universe don't know good or bad or time. Those are all man-made mm -hmm. concepts. Yeah. Say that again. The universe does not know good, bad, or time. So you, we perceive it as negative, but it's just an energy or something to mm -hmm. the universe. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it don't know good or bad. So you're saying... Oh, I don't want to spill this water, but you're thinking about spilling it. It don't know that spilling it is bad or not spilling it is good. Yeah. It don't know that. It just know the energy that you're putting out there, Dang. first of all. And then second of all, it also doesn't know time. So you don't want to spill the water, let's just say, and you don't spill it. In the morning, you spill it in the afternoon, and you like, oh, well, at least I didn't spill it before my job interview. Nah, nigga, but it's still spilled. Mm -hmm. You feel me? The universe, because yeah. they don't know time. Yeah. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. And, I mean, and, and in that same way, bro, there's no, um, like, there's no, there's no cold. There's just the absence of heat. Mm. Cold is something that man made. Okay. It's like there's no darkness. It's, it's only the absence of light. There's, so, there's things that we identify out here, and right. then we Can't use dark, no these reason. things to judge our reality. And it's not that. And that, you know, and if you choose to step outside that, you know, you're going, you're, and judging is a limitation. So that's what our senses, that's what our mind would teach us to do. That's what our ego would have us to do, mm. you know. This, this going to help me with manifestation. That, and that's, and that's <clears throat> a the importance of unlearning and relearning. And relearning. Shout out to Derek Grace. Absolutely. And, and, Shout, and, out and, Shout out to Shout out to and, and, and deprogramming because all of this comes from the programming that was put in the educational system and the religious institutions that Absolutely. was forced upon us. Right. And I this is coming from somebody who was indoctrinated. I got two degrees. Mm -hmm. But I so I represent the highest level of academia, but I'm also one of the people that was able to unlearn and relearn, deprogram and reprogram myself to better my position and my family's position. Right. You get where I'm coming from? Because a lot of the entrepreneurs that I'm around may have not went to school or whatever because the people who went to school are indoctrinated. They're good at their jobs and stuff like that. But I'm like, nah, this can't be for me. But going back to what he was saying, that's why I chimed in. All of this stuff that how we look at it is a part of the programming and indoctrination between the uh, the educational institutions and the religious community that was forced upon us. That was that was not a uh, you know our natural right. state. Yeah. That and you got and you got to know that the, like the these systems these constructs were never put in place uh, to benefit us. Mm. You know, the, even the, the, the education system, and, and you know this just by looking at when it was implemented, when it came in place, or when the eight-hour workday came in place. It was, it was systematically to create a nation of workers, not a nation of thinkers, not a nation of creators. Not a matter of fact, if you look up like the Department of Education, like their their like mission statement type shit from mm -hmm. when it was created, it says we will not create yeah. philosophers. We will yeah. not create great like it was yeah, to create you into this um, pipeline of to manufacture you know this purpose. So there are ways that we can get off of that, and there are ways that you can begin to uh, evolve in your life. Hip hop or Tampa. Brain Hippolyte, mm. Trey Snatch. Man, I had a good time, man. We out of here. Sell your mama shit. Buy uh, something that can help you learn how to manifest. Let's go. All right, we good. Thanks for that water. It brings happiness. Here's full of dread. Go team. Florida boys. Dirty South so deep. So Here's full of dread. Mouth full of gold teeth. Go Stay through the city. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my
represent. Florida girl, dirty south, so deep. Head full of weeks, mouth full of gold teeth.